Hey, how's it going guys? This is Alex Shrops, and I got something really nice for you guys. Um, I just recently watched a video from CodeCrafted, and he had a... Um, you could set your own time for a timer, and it could go up to, uh, like, years and all that. Very long. And I found a simple adjustment that could make this also act as an infinitely expandable and adjustable uh, extended pulse. So, I'll show you what I mean. It's a very simple pulse of center. If you see, I click this button. This redstone lamp will be on for quite a while. Yeah, and I don't know exactly how long that is, but I can make that go a lot longer if I wanted to, and I could hook this up to all, multiple things and make as long as I want, really, but for a pulse, you really don't need much more than maybe a few minutes or so. Um, yeah, I think this is really cool. It's very compact. It's a little bit bigger than the actual uh, timer itself. I think this is 4x4x6, four by, four by which is pretty good for four blocks tall, six blocks wide. Um, how it works is I really suggest you watch CodeCraft's recent video. I'll put a, a link somewhere. Um, he explains it really good. He shows you how to do the math to get any time you want. And all I really did was add an RS nor latch and it gave you a huge different result. I think it's a lot more helpful though. So as you see here in this item hopper I have 30 sandstone. I'll take this out for now. Oh. They're here now. Um, so I had 32 blocks total, and basically they, these two hoppers here trade blocks, and they end up creating a delay, and I can't really explain it good, like I said, but um, the transactions between the two hoppers is what causes the delay, and as many blocks you add, the longer the pulse is. So let's go ahead and set it to um, 16. So all I will do in this design is plop in 16 blocks here click this and this item this hopper will start getting the items as soon as it reaches 16 it will start giving them back and this will be on the whole time until it's finally finished so that one's a lot shorter than the 32 you could do 64 if you wanted and you could fill up this entire hopper and it will take a long time um, but like I said, CoCraft has the calculations and everything if you want to learn how to do that. So I highly suggest checking that video out. So let's go ahead and build this. Um, it's not too hard, really. Start with, I'm going to start five blocks in the air. Obviously you don't have to, just wherever you want. I'm going to have two spaces in between, two pistons here. Two blocks in between. I'm getting really bad frame rate right now. I apologize. Then plop down a redstone block. Now you need to have two hoppers facing each other. So just place one, shift, place it against the other so it's facing that one. Destroy the first one and make this one on the other one so they're facing like that. You have to be holding shift when you do that. You don't need these blocks, by the way. Now you want to make sure these hoppers will give off a pulse whenever they actually have items in them. So we can do that with the new comparator feature. Just put some blocks like that on both sides of uh, the hopper and the piston. Comparator there, comparator there, redstone and redstone. And now let's go ahead and go two blocks below this piston so there's enough room to put redstone dust. Piston facing upward and a block like that. That's just going to be a uh, little monostable there. And we got a repeater on four right here. Oh, sorry. That should be up one more. Right here put that into a block and make this go down 
Make sure you have the block on top so the signal will travel down. Now come across three. One, two, three. This should go into a block, which will be the beginning of our RS Noi latch. Um, go ahead and put redstone dust here and here. Block there. Get a torch, place one there. Repeater there. Torch there. And block on top of that. And I believe that is just about it. Go ahead and grab a button. Place it. This will be your input here. And your output for the RS Nor is actually this timer. And so that's how it all works. This will get activated and reset the latch. Um, so let's give it a try. Let's do... Um, let's do... Uh, eight. It's nice and short, but... Oh, I don't really have a lamp. Of course, the lamp is not necessary. It's just to show you how long it extends for. Okay, let's try this again. Place your blocks. And now, right now, these are locked. That's what this torch is for, and it's also the other side of this arch door. So, press the button. And it works perfect. Simple as that. Um, it's a pretty nice design. I think this is really helpful, especially when you need... Uh, this is the first really compact um, ex pulse extender that you can make that works for multiple different uh, times. So I can see it's putting to good use. I'm definitely going to use it a lot. So, yep, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.